Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of folate. In this tutorial, we will learn about role of folate in the body, effects of folate deficiency, requirements of folate for different age groups. Vitamin B9 is an important water soluble B vitamin. It has two forms folate and folic acid. Folate is the natural form and is found naturally in foods. Folate is also produced by bacteria in our intestines. Whereas folic acid is the synthetic form. It is found in chemically enriched foods or supplements. Folate is easily absorbed in our body as compared to folic acid. We will now see the role of folate in our body and the effect of its deficiency. Folate is essential for various functions in our body. Our body needs it for growth, repair, division and production of new cells. Folate helps in lowering the homocysteine levels. Homocysteine is a type of amino acid used to make Protein. High homocysteine levels impairs cognitive function. It also damages the blood vessels of the heart. This increases the risk of heart diseases. Thus, folate helps in maintaining heart and cognitive function. It is also required for a healthy pregnancy and for closure of the neural tube. The neural tube develops into the brain and spinal cord of the baby. Failure in closure of neural tubes may result in neural tube defects. Neural tube defects are the birth defects of the brain and spinal cord. The two most common neural tube defects are anencephaly and spina bifida. In anencephaly, parts of a baby's brain and skull do not form correctly. In spina bifida, the baby's spine does not develop properly. Thus, the baby can have physical disabilities. They may develop muscle weakness of the legs and paralysis. Curved spine and loss of urinary bladder control are other symptoms. Difficulty in eating and swallowing is also common. They may also have difficulty in learning and paying attention. Closure of the neural tube takes place within 28 days of conception. Until this time, the woman might not even know that she is pregnant. By the time she knows, it might be too late to prevent these defects. All women, especially of reproductive age, should take adequate folate-rich food. Along with folate, other nutrients are important to prevent neural tube defects. For example, vitamin B12 and choline. During pregnancy, the requirements of folate increases. Inadequate intake during this time can result in folate deficiency. Poor absorption of folate by the body can result in deficiency. Even excess of alcohol intake results in the same. A deficiency of vitamin B12 can indirectly lead to folate deficiency. Even if folate is present in our body, it will not be able to perform its function. This is because vitamin B12 is required to convert folate into its active form. Thus, Adequate intake of vitamin B12 along with folate is important. Eggs, chicken, meat and milk products are good sources of vitamin B12. Shellfish, liver, heart, kidneys, brain are other examples. Individuals with genetic anemia can be at a risk of folate deficiency. Examples of genetic anemia are sickle cell anemia and 
thalassemia. In these conditions, red blood cells are destroyed faster than they can be created. Thus, adequate intake of folate is recommended during these conditions. Please consult your doctor before taking any supplement. Next, let us look at the symptoms of folate deficiency. These symptoms can be seen in both men and women. Some of the early signs are soreness and redness of the tongue and lips. Other symptoms are fatigue, irritability, sleep disturbances and depression. Ulcers in the mouth or stomach can also occur. Long-term deficiency can reduce memory and attention span. Folate deficiency in pregnant women may have a bad effect on the babies. For example, neural tube defects and cleft lip and palate in babies. A cleft is a gap or split in the upper lip or roof of the mouth. This occurs when the tissues do not fuse together during growth in the womb. Folate or vitamin B12 deficiency results in macrocytic anemia. Let me explain to you how this occurs. Both these nutrients are required for normal cell growth and division. In case of their deficiency, the red blood cells do not mature or divide properly. As a result, large immature red blood cells are formed which are few in number. These have very low hemoglobin in them and are unable to function properly. Hemoglobin helps to transport oxygen to other tissues and cells. Thus, low hemoglobin levels can cause anemia. Let us look at the per day recommendations of folate for different age groups. For 1 to 3 year old children, 90 micrograms is required. For 4 to 9 year old children, it is 110 to 142 micrograms. For 10 to 15 year old adolescents, it is 180 to 204 micrograms. More than 200 micrograms per day for adolescents above 16 years is recommended. For adult females and males, it is 200 to 250 micrograms. Pregnant women should have about 500 micrograms. For breastfeeding mothers, it is 300 micrograms. The requirements of folate are higher for women with a history of birth defects. They should take 500 micrograms before conception and throughout pregnancy. Adequate folate intake is also recommended for women who are planning pregnancy. The requirements of folate can be met through diet. Beans are excellent source of folate. 30 grams or Half cup of uncooked beans gives about 80 to 120 micrograms of folate. Cowpea, kidney beans, mott beans, soya beans are a few examples. Even Bengal gram, field beans, horse gram, dry peas are good sources. Green leafy vegetables are also rich in folate. For example, spinach, amaranth leaves, Colocasia leaves, agathi leaves. 50 grams or 1 cup of uncooked spinach will give about 70 micrograms of folate. 1 teaspoon of powdered drumstick leaves gives about 10 micrograms of folate. Other vegetables rich in folate are tender field beans, French beans and beetroot. Even cauliflower lady's finger and drumsticks have moderate amounts of folate. Sunflower seeds, mustard seeds and niger seeds have little amount of folate. One tablespoon of these powdered seeds have about 15 to 20 micrograms of folate. 
among non-vegetarian foods, chicken liver and all seafood are excellent sources. One chicken liver of 60 grams will give about 600 micrograms of folate. 100 grams of any seafood will give more than 700 micrograms. Please note that excessive heat and water decreases folate content. Therefore, avoid overcooking and repetitive reheating of food. Vegetables can be sauteed or steamed instead of boiling. Pulses should always be soaked overnight before cooking. Sprouting and cooking of whole beans enhances its nutrient content. Fermentation and roasting will also help to improve the absorption of folate. Adequate intake of folate is very important for our good health. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Thank you for joining.